I feel like I'm coming in with the energy of a general. I'm hunkered down and we need to move and it is time to go. Um, we have now the momentum, we have the energy from community in a way that we have not had. Um, when we were at the doors just this Saturday, um, before the decision on Sunday, what we were hearing from our communities was, will we have a democracy after November? And so these are the types of conversations that we were experiencing at the door. And now what we have felt after is just this new uh, excitement, this new energy, and people that perhaps were not as dialed in are now more interested. But what that means is that Arizona has a lot of pressure. Arizona has pretty much everything in play, presidential, Kamala amongst the Latino community, amongst undecided and amongst unaffiliated voters actually polls higher. And so that is incredibly encouraging for us, but that means that we have to go out and outreach to our communities now. Um, and so the work ahead of us is, is a lot. Um, so we have the presidential, we have a Senate race potentially now Mark Kelly is being looked at as a, a vice president um, potential. So what we are thinking is we also might have a second Senate race um, along with our congressional races and flipping the legislature. And so we have a path to being able to deliver all of that, but that means that we actually need the resources now. There are currently a potential of 850,000 Latinos that can be uh, mobilized and galvanized to weigh in in this moment, particularly because many of our communities are talking about the kitchen table issues. They care about what's gonna happen with our reproductive health and we have a ballot measure that we can deliver on to ensure that our reproductive health is protected come November. Um, but we need to get that across the finish line as well. And what have we done so far? Arizona has already knocked on 450,000 doors. That means those are conversations that we've already had with voters, naming that uh, environment, housing, are top issues for them. Because in Arizona, what we have seen is that our housing is incredibly expensive and it is at a crisis point. Um, our communities are facing eviction. And so what we... Uh, want to sort of get across is that we have the potential to deliver. And Arizona is a path to 270. It is a path to the Senate. We can potentially flip the Arizona State Legislature. And one of the challenges is that, and I want to really thank MVP um, and a couple of our union brothers and sisters, MVP is a reason right now that we are still out on the field. We have our primary that ends on Tuesday and potentially we may have to stop operation because the funds have been so scarce. And so for a battleground state to not be able to continue its um, work out in the field is a devastating prospect as we are at the precipice of one of the most important and consequential elections um, in our lifetime. And what I will say is that you know, we have 104 days left until the general election, but in Arizona, we have 79 days until ballots drop, and that means October. So for us, we are feeling the heels of this election right uh, next to us at our doorstep, and so we need the resources to move now. Um, what we are also seeing is that for, you know, we have a $3 million gap uh, but we have been able to raise uh, 1.5 million of that. So we still, we $13 million gap, I'm so sorry. And we've been able to raise 3 million of that. And so we, um, we are looking to you all to be able to meet the moment because this is the election where, you know, as our endorsement committee came together on Sunday, and resoundingly voted for Kamala Harris uh, unanimously um, and named that 
this election is so much bigger than the candidates. This election is about saving our democracy. But what we know is true is that Kamala Harris will effectively prosecute the case against a wannabe dictator who vilifies immigrants and communities of color for his political gain. And so we are optimistic that we will have someone like Kamala Harris uh, in office who is a descendant of immigrants, Black, South Asian woman, represents communities like ours. Um, but we also need, we need to move now because we cannot wait. We cannot leave this election to be held by an authoritarian, authoritarian that will come for our communities. And we have seen what the blueprint is. We have seen what Project 2025 promises to deliver, mass deportation, the end of um, our uh, Department of Education, and so much more. And so, yeah, I am ready. We have been on the ground. We have knocked on 450,000 doors and we're gonna knock on a million as Lucha and we're gonna knock at 5 million uh, as a state. And so we need you all. And, and so your gap, you. thank you so much, Alex. And your gap right now is is 10 million or 13 million? 13 million. It's 13 million. And 